Today we're gonna go through the part two of the Lens Studio Maximo and Blender tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to activate different animations in one character. Today we'll be exploring the super powerful behavior script which basically just allows you to click and select different triggers and response types. Super powerful, you don't need any coding for this. So let's get started by clicking plus, search for behavior, and under helper scripts, you find something called behavior. It gets added here as the tween manager does. First of all, here's the trigger. So today I thought it would be awesome if we could have him walk if you're far away and he could fall off and die if you're close to him. So let's start with adding a distance check and we want to take distance between the camera and this creature the camera is in this case representing you it gets a bit more complex when you have multiple cameras but uh, let's not worry about that for now uh, these units are centimeters so let's do five meters and then because this is, is less than 5 meters, we want him to die. So down here in the response type, you choose Animate Mesh. And we can choose the Animation Mixer. So we need to find out what the layer name is. So you can just click on your monster or your creature or whatever you made. Here's the layer names, dying and walk. Let's unclick the autoplay cause this, this will interfere with our, our stuff. And let's enable the dying animation as well. So we have walk and dying. All right. So this will be dying. Yep, and let's enable the loop. Let's see, it certainly worked. Let's try to go further away. Further away. Yep, he's not dying anymore. Mm, now he's dying. All right, so for a second animation, we need to add another script component and choose the behavior script super simple actually what you can do as well you can always right click copy and paste then you don't have to remake the components each time again for the trigger let's choose distance check camera monster is greater five meters the response type is animate mesh let's turn on the loop let's select our animation mixer and now we remember the name was walk so he walks now and falls now cool so you could basically do this for as many animations as you want uh, i would encourage you to explore all these super awesome events and triggers here and response types if you want a more advanced tutorial on this I would suggest you check out Ben Knudsen's tutorial on how to manipulate animations in JavaScript. I will put the link in the description for that. For now, have fun, play around, let me know what you want to see in the future. See you soon.